In this video, I will show how to directly import data from an Excel file to SQL Server Studio. This is one challenge that we normally face because uh, every once in a while when we have to create a table, after creating the table, the challenge we face is if we have like too many number of rows, we don't have to manually insert the values into the table. We can directly insert the values into the table using the technique which I am going to show you. So if we have more number of rows, this become very convenient. So I will be doing the uh, importing of data from a CSV file. Uh, so we will start with the CSV file. Yeah. So uh, I am coming to the left side where you can see multiple databases. Uh, here I have created multiple databases. These are questions for my collation test master. These are different databases. So first thing what I have to do is I have to choose to which database I have to import the table. Uh, for that here I am going to import the table to this questions database. So what I am going to do is I am going to right click on this database. Now as you can see a small dialog box has appeared. Inside this box we have to go to task. Inside the task if uh, I have to come down and you can see we have a import flat file option here. We will click on that import flat file option. Now after clicking on this import flat file option next uh, yeah as you can see this is the basic information introduction telling us like what this import flat file tool will be doing. Now I have to click on the next button. Also we can go through the introduction first. This uh, import flat file and this wizard help you to import content of the file into your table, new table in your database. To import the data, you must specify the input file containing the data, preview the automatically generated table schema and optionally modify the columns. So these are the coming up steps that we will be uh, doing in the, in the next few seconds. Now let us click on next. Here we have to specify the uh, input like from which file we are going to import the data, the CSV file. So I am going to click on browse. Now inside the SQL folder I have sample data. So as you can see we have an order underscore table underscore CSV file here. I am going to choose that. Now and data file is same as dot CSV or txt file we can uh, import in similar manner. And now click on open. Now we have selected the file. The next thing is new table name. Uh, I'm putting the table name as same only. If we want to change the table name, that also we can do. Here we can choose the table schema. By default, it is DBO. Next, uh, after that, we have to choose next. Next is previewing data. So this is the data that we are going to import into SQL Server Studio. Uh, yeah, exactly. This is the same data that we are trying to uh, import from the CSV file. Now after viewing viewing the uh, preview, let's click on next. Now we can see the schema where we have the column names. Uh, we can edit the column names. Then uh, we have the data types which are automatically recognized by the SQL Server Studio. Here we can change the data types. Then we can tell which is the primary key from all these columns and whether to allow nulls or not. That also we can specify here. So here I am going to tell that order ID is our primary key and uh, order ID should not have any nulls. So I am not going to choose that. Customer ID is not our primary key because this is the order table. Uh, so customer ID can repeat in this table uh, and we have an employee ID. Then we have an order date which is date time. Then we have a shipper ID which is uh, n where care 50. That I will change to int yeah that also I will change to being int because that's also going to be a number now after doing that I'm going to click on next yeah now we have the summary of the uh, choose options that we have uh, previously selected in the previous steps next thing is we have to click on finish now we have completed importing the data so the insert data is a success and we can see the result here now after clicking on close now let us refresh this because 
sometimes it this database may not show the data without refreshing so after refresh let us try to expand this database and see if we have the table i'm expanding yeah as you can see this is the table that we have created now let us try to query the results query few rows from the table now uh, i'm selecting the top 10 rows from the table order underscore table underscore csv now i'm going to execute this now i'm getting some error see now here i am getting this error because uh, here as you can see here we have to choose which database we are uh, choosing the table from here by default it is master so i have to change this to questions because that is the database which i am currently using now i have to run this query yeah now as you can see we have got the results from the table order underscore table underscore csv this is how we import data from a csv file